Hey guys, I'm gonna do a baby back ribs in the Instapot. This whole thing from Costco was $14.29. Big old thing. You see it's a double ribs. So I'm only gonna do one, one slab. So I'm gonna take it out and show you what I do and how I prepare it and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna take the slab, I'll do the top slab and as you can see it's going to be big enough i'm going to turn it over and make sure that they have gotten off that piece of looks like it's already off it's like a film or the whatever it is on the back side but i don't feel it so i'm going to do so i'm just going to go ahead and just make sure all this is this Seasoning. We got the ones with the seasoning on it, and it seems like enough seasoning on it. Okay, I've got the pot ready. I'm going to put the baby back ribs in it. Stand them up. Just put them in just like that. Circle it around. I'm only going to do one. Okay. All right. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay, I washed my hands. They're clean. Now I'm going to add one cup of water. And that should do it. I'm going to put my instant cup pot top on. I love that little song. Okay, I'm going to put it to vent. I'm going to go down and I'm going to do pressure cook manual. And I'm taking it down from 30 minutes when you do the, when it says pressure cook, down to 20 minutes. And then I'm going to start it from there and it starts. Now it's sealed. I've got this sealed. This will pop up and I'll be back when it starts, when it counts down. Uh, in fact, I'm just going to be back. It's on now. It's counting down. So I got it on 20 minutes. Okay, guys. Okay, it's, it's finished. So I am going to do the release at the top and um once that little pin drops down then i'll open it up okay guys i'm going to open it up it just a little toggle thing little thing just dropped down and i'm going to open it up oh that looks good looks good Let's just hope they're real tender. They look like they're going to be real tender. So, I'm going to take them out and put them on my pan. Okay. Let me turn this over here so you can see this. Put it on the pan. Oops, making a mess. They look good and delicious. So next, I'm going to put the broiler on at 450, and um, I'm going to, first of all, I've got some, this baby, oh, well, it's called barbecue sauce, but it's sweet baby rays. And I'm going to take a, I'm going to take some with a, well, somebody's blowing horn out there at somebody. And I'm just going to slather this a little bit with some barbecue sauce. And I'll put it on, okay, Molly, she's ready, she's time, she's smelling this, and she's ready to eat. <laughs> so I'll be back, I'm going to slather it on both sides, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm setting the broiler at 450. I'm just going to get it where they're a little bit, uh, got caramelized on the top a little bit, 450 for about 10 minutes or less. I'll let you know how much. And this is the first time I'm doing it in the Instapot, so I'll let you know. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, got them out. They are ready. My husband does not like a lot of sauce. I like more sauce. So I've got a little bit more sauce here. I will put a little bit uh, on the side on my plate and so I can add it but he likes less sauce I like more sauce so that's how we're gonna do it so I'm just gonna eat a little bit he's gonna eat 
probably a lot more than me. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, baby back ribs and uh, very simple, very easy. And I'll let you know how they turned out. Okay, guys, I'm back. It's just, it's falling off the bone. So that timing was good. Uh, do it for 20 minutes, Instapot, just your own measure uh, to give you some FYI. Put, I put it in the oven for a broil just to get it a little bit browner on the top. You don't even have to do that. Just put your sauce on it. I'm going to, again, I'm going to put a little bit more sauce on mine. But anyway, that I hope you enjoy. And I will see you later. Don't forget to give a smile. If you do, you might get one back. And be kind. Be kinder than they are. I love you guys.